This video is about yeah my thoughts and my opinion about Figma basically integrating payload. Would be very interesting to learn more about the deal um, because yeah this is super interesting. Um, roughly a month ago, Figma announced Figma sites. So basically, uh, I made a video about it. Uh, Figma is now a CMS and well, lots of people in the CMS space, um, developers especially, said, well, Figma is a design tool, it's definitely not a developer platform. But obviously Figma already knew that they're gonna uh, acquire Payload uh, and integrate Payload in their product offering. Uh, but first let's dive into what Payload actually is. Uh, so payload uh, itself positions uh, as a yeah backend to build the modern web. Um, yeah, in the end, it's nothing else than a next JS application, which is very opinionated about being a CMS. So it brings all the features you need to kind of build content structures um, in an ORM uh, way. So it's like a drizzle kind of. Um, mechanism to build up the content structure and it brings uh, some UI so you can basically yeah use it as a content management system but I haven't used it to be honest payload I'm not a payload user but it's definitely an interesting uh, technology and a good tool to build up sites and backends for whatever you want to create and this makes totally sense that Figma acquires these kinds of technologies because Payload is still a relatively young project or company uh, building on the latest tech. A payload is built on top of Next.js as a core technology. So it's React based. It's uh, yeah, using the Next.js um, stack basically and totally makes sense. Um, and actually I, I really want to emphasize uh, you should watch the video, the announcement video they did together with Syntax Podcast. They dive into yeah, uh, why actually Figma wants to buy it, uh, wanted to buy it, and yeah, it was just um, yeah, kind of a nerdy talk about if you're building websites, uh, it, it's very interesting to follow. They also went into the discussion about AI and yeah, how AI impacts the CMS space. In my personal view, AI is a game changer for uh, CMS, especially on the, on the front-end side. Obviously, you, you want flexibility and you want development speed on the front-end side. On the back-end side, I'm a little bit skeptic because at one point you need um, a lot of thoughts about the structure of the content. Um, Payload does that, like many other content management systems. However, Payload is really, really a hardcore developer tool. So uh, if you look at the page, you see here, it's, it's all about the code, also the UI is very developer ready. I'm, I'm not sure if this UI, a let's say, normal content editor wants to use. So this is something I'm very curious how the tech world actually integrates with the Figma design UI space and actually make out of that the product what end users, the editors, I mean the editors who want to build the content actually want to use. Um, I'm coming from the Drupal world and we are building the NodeHive Headless CMS product and we put a lot of effort into making the editorial experience as perfect as possible. And so, yeah, that, that will be interesting to see how that works. Um, yeah, maybe we should also go through uh, the actual uh, announcement on figma.com uh, and see what they have to say. Uh, let's make that a little bit bigger. We are thrilled to announce that the team behind Payload, a leading open source headless content management system and application framework has joined Figma. At Config 2025, uh, we talked about supporting the entire spectrum of software development from designers, developers to other collaborators who take part in the product building life cycle. We launch new products to make it easier for anyone to go from an idea to design assets to live website to a live website application or digital experience. 
I think it's interesting that they kind of highlight not only websites, but actually, yeah, talk about uh, digital product building or the digital product building life cycle. Um, I think this is exactly a, a good strategy. So it's really not about building websites, it's about building digital products and supporting the digital product building life cycle. Together with Payload's developer focused mindset and tools, we will be able to supercharge what offer developers across both our platforms. So I have a screenshot. When we announced Figma Sites at Config, we shared that we're rolling out a CMS for it in the months ahead. Figma CMS will make life easier for marketers and designers who need to update website content and Payload brings all the stuff developers love, a powerful customizable backend for building scalable websites and apps, plus an intuitive admin panel for editors. Yeah, here I'm slightly skeptical. I mean, it's a CMS backend, it's certainly usable, but is it very intuitive, especially if you have um, a little bit more complex um, yeah, edit, um, components? By teaming up with Payload, we are creating something special. Yeah, one thing I want to highlight here is <laughs> yeah, basically they, sh they showcased the CMS part at the config conference and everybody, including me, was like, what CMS do they use? So they had in on the sidebar, there was a, like a form um, and, and the, 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 peop the, the guy who presented it was actually updating con content uh, in the Figma UI. So yeah, that, that was interesting, but now it's revealed, um, I guess it was powered by the headless um, uh, capability of Payload. Developers have flocked to Payload because you can customize pretty much anything, extend it however you need, and the developer experience is just plain better than the alternatives. That's why it become most of one of the most popular open source projects in its space, and we are excited to bring that same flexibility to power to the Figma community. I've been blown away by this team, their product, and, they, and the trust they've built in just a few years. The fact that Payload is already used by several Fortune 100 companies is a testament to it. Yeah, I, I also think that. I think uh, Payload is a very uh, good product and also a polished product, even though it's quite early in the space. If you go a little bit deeper and you actually compare the functionality and the add-ons uh, of Payload, comparable, for example, with uh, existing ecosystems like the Drupal ecosystem or the WordPress ecosystem, obviously it's much, much slower. Uh, a much more smaller than um, yeah Drupal specifically. So if you look for super advanced features, um, maybe you have to build it yourself, um, or maybe you have to wait a little bit until payload uh, is also also um, yeah taking on. Beyond that, one of the things that impressed me most about Payload was how deeply they care about their open source community. They are always engaging, shipping improvements based on feedback and have built a real connection with developers. We built Figma around the belief that great designs happens through collaboration and community feedback and Payload has done the same, creating a thriving open source ecosystem where developers contribute, share knowledge, help evolve the offering and completely push boundaries. This shared philosophy has made our partnership feel natural from day one. For me, this sounds a lot like marketing talk. Uh, I agree that Payload is open source. Um, as I understand, it's um, a Payload GitHub. It's um, MIT licensed. Uh, let me check the license. Yeah, here it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's MIT licensed. And well, uh, if uh, Figma is talking about um, community, obviously they talk about their customer base. So Figma is not open source at all, it's closed sourced. And uh, it's a very, um, uh, yeah, a, a very dedicated uh, internal stack and uh, tooling around it. And um, Payload is open source, it's Next.js, it's built on NPM packages all over, which are also open source. So I'm super curious if probably the license of Payload gonna change, or if they actually build a kind of a shadow product, the enterprise version of it, which is much more tied to uh, the, the, the Figma um, uh, license or F F F Figma model. But who knows, we'll see how, how that goes. Um, 
yeah, and it's also interesting, payload is built on Next.js. So I like Next.js, so I'm a, uh, I'm a, um, a supporter of Next.js. But there is also other front-end frameworks. Um, I know a lot of Vue.js um, developers that hate Next.js. So it's also interesting to see how Figma will react to that because it's um, Next.js is opinionated. Now Payload is using Next.js. So it's kind of interesting to see how that dynamics evolve, the dynamic evolves over time. Yeah, here you see the basically the ORM you define in code and then you can kind of spin up that uh, push push the, the, the structure to the, to the database. Payload will remain open source product. I hope so, that would be cool. In the immediate future, nothing is changing for users. Immediate future, long-term future, we don't know. We will continue to actively invest in and improve the open source project and we'll communicate early and often with users of both Figma and Payload as we develop our CMS strategies and product roadmap together. The future of design and development is increasingly collaborative. We want Figma to be the central hub for digital product creation, where you can build and deploy what you create directly within our ecosystem. As AI has made it easier to generate more code and content, the ability to control what you deploy across channels and fine tune your end users experience become even more important. Teaming up with Payload brings us a step closer to that vision by bridging the gap between design and development that has traditionally slowed product building teams. We are excited to welcome Payload, etc., etc. Yeah, um, just one uh, small note here. I absolutely agree on the gap between building something, designing something in Figma. It's, it's a big hurdle to yeah, ship that to code there are many, many approaches with AI tools, with MCP servers to, to, to uh, yeah, simplify that. Now, um, Figma purchased Payload and I'm super, super curious what they will deliver based on that technology. I'm excited uh, and I'm also a little bit skeptic about the long-term future about Payload. Future will tell us. Interestingly, I was following the, the story also on, uh, on Reddit in the next uh, JS subreddit. And people were a little bit shocked because uh, yeah, uh, either you like Figma, maybe you don't, you no longer like Figma. Um, I don't wanna, I'm neutral, I'm Swiss about this discussion, but people are already actively looking for alternatives uh, of payload because they maybe don't trust Figma to what they will do to the payload product. And I, I use this opportunity. If you're looking for a CMS alternative, you may want to check out nodehive.com. Nodehive Headless CMS is open source. It's built on top of the Drupal stack. It's a product. You can use it in a software as a service or you can install it, run it yourself with the open source packages. Um, it's um, front-end agnostic. You can use Next.js, you can use Nox.js, you can use Astro. So you're actually completely free and you not only get the CMS part, you get uh, AI features, you get um, uh, yeah, very dynamic parts in the, in the CMS space. Look it up if you want to uh, check Nodehive as an alternative to Payload. And with that said, um, if you like content like that, if you are a web developer, digital strategist and work professionally in the digital, digital space, the Modern Web Architect is uh, exactly about that. So please consider subscribing the channel and until then, see you in the next one.